Hello and welcome to my latest video on how to change your Amazon FBA listing when nothing else seems to work. As a seller on Amazon, optimizing your product listing is crucial to get more visibility and sales. However, sometimes even after you've tried all the tricks and techniques, your listing title is not updated. In this video, I will take you through the steps to change your listing title on Amazon FBA when you exhausted all other options. Whether you try through Seller Central or through flat files and nothing helps, I'll show you from experience what are the steps that I took to fix that issue. Okay guys, so I recorded the video yesterday, but uh, there was no sound, so I have to record this again, but you know, it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Anyway, so let me show you what are the normal steps that you do first to update your listing. And if you came already to watch this video, you probably did already this method. The first one is to go to edit and find locate your listing. After you located your listing and you click edit, you're going to go and change your product title. It's under product identity. And under item name, you will have your product name, which you will need to replace or edit with your new title, right? After you've done that, you're going to click save and finish. And then usually after a few hours, it will get updated. It might take up to 24 hours sometimes. If after 24 hours, nothing happened, that's probably why you search or you have issues or difficulties, update your listing. And then the next step is to go and do it through flat file. If you never did to, uh, an update through a flat file, watch the videos that I have here on the channel. Just go to the search, write flat file, and I have videos showing how to update this. But let me give you a short version of how to do it. You go to catalog and then add products via upload. You'll first need to download your template to download the spreadsheet where you're going to work on your own listing. And by the way, I have a category report video also that I show you if you want a shortcut to have all the details already pre-populated there. Uh, you download the category uh, flat file and then delete all the items except the one that you are trying to update. So uh, what we're going to do here because we want to update the title is to update product details. We're going to click on get product template and then uh, click on product template here and amazon.com is the marketplace for my category we're going to write hairbrush for example this is the product that i have the category you have to make sure that the node that the exact category uh structure tree is exactly as the one that you're trying to upload we're going to click on select after we clicked on select we can generate template and it will download the file Okay, so after we have the file opened, we're going to go here to the tab of the template and we're going to choose the product type. The product type, we'll put the seller SKU, the brand name, the product name will be the title that you want to have. Here for the product ID and the ID type, I like to choose the ASIN and put the ASIN of the product. Make sure you're filling everything and then once we are done, we're going to save the file and then go to the same page of catalog, add product via upload and then to this tab, upload your spreadsheet. You're going to choose the, fly by, uh, the file, I'm sorry, by clicking here and then put your email. And when you put your email, you are going to get a notification once the process is done because sometimes it could take 10, 15 minutes to the file to get processed. So when you put your email here, you get a notification with the results. Sometimes it will fail, sometimes it will be a successful message. You want to see if it's failing, what's the reason and fix the issue. We're not going to get into the details here. After you did it, hopefully it worked. But if it didn't work, then what you need to do is to do a full update. Once you're in the file, you're going to go here and you will have to choose here what, what is the action that you're doing. I recommend that you always choose the partial update, but in case it didn't work the first time, do a full update. Now, when you do a full update, just make sure that all the fields that you already have in your listing are filled here because it's going to override it, okay? So make sure that you do that. After that, repeat the process, upload it, and see if it helped, okay? Again, it might not work. So the next step to do is to use the flat file but instead of ASIN here, you're going to put the UPC 
You're going to choose UPC and put your own UPC that you put when you created a listing. Of course, if you have GTIN exemption or some other types that you uh, use to create the listing, then you don't use it. But most people will use UPC code when they create their listing. The same process, save it, try to upload, and hopefully it will work. Again, if this didn't work, then I'll give you the next method that I'm trying. And all of these things are things that I tried on my own listings from my own experience. And what you have to do next is to delete the listing. This is a little scary, I know, but it's a necessary step to do when all the other steps didn't work, okay? What we're going to do, we're going, first of all, to find the listing that we want to delete. We're going to click on edit. Why on edit? Because after we delete it, we'll need some of the details here and we don't want them to get lost. I also suggest that you download the inventory category report, which you can get from going to in, uh, reports, inventory reports, and on the inventory reports, you have to choose here the category listing report, request report, and have it as a backup because it will include all the details of your listing. So in case you can't find them because you're going to delete the listing, they are going to be saved somewhere, okay? But on top of that, I click edit just to have it visually open. After I have it open, I'm going to click here and delete the listing, okay? Delete product and listing. We have to wait five to 10 minutes. After five to 10 minutes, we are going to come back to this page. We're going to refresh it and search for the ASIN that we're, we're deleting. Once we don't see it here, we're going to go here to catalog, add products via upload, and let me just go and find a hairbrush, hairbrush Amazon as an example. Um, and then what I'll do, is um, I'll edit just so I show you how to do what's the next process. So after we uh, went to catalog, add pro I'm sorry, add product. We're going to put here the ASIN, search for it. Our, that's going to be our own ASIN, of course. We're going to click on you. Actually, I cannot really sell it. But then it says sell this item. After we sell this item, you know what? let me find an item that I can sell just so I can actually show you how it works. Okay, I cannot also sell this one for some reason. I think I have a good feeling this will be allowed to be sold. Yes. Okay, so sell this product. And then here, it's super, super important. I'm going to put the same SKU that I had for the product that I deleted. And why it's super important? Because Amazon associates inventory with an ASIN and a SKU. So if you jump, you put just a random SKU number here, it will not bring your associate the inventory that you have in your FBA with this new item that you're uploading. And there, it could be lost. So it's very important to put the same exact SKU, same exact price, quantity, you can put one, new and put Amazon will ship and provide customer service. Of course, if we're talking about FBA listing where you already have inventory. Okay, after that, we're going to click save and finish, wait a few minutes. And then when you go back to your manage inventory, it should come back. Hopefully after that, what you'll do is try to edit or use the flat file again and it should work. But in case it's not going to work again, what you'll have to do is you'll have to contact now Amazon seller support. What I'll have to do is call and ask for the catalog team. What you'll explain the catalog team is the following. You're going to tell them, look, I tried to update my product title in any possible way, but nothing worked. I tried through the interface, through Seller Central. I tried through flat files. I tried by deleting the listing. I tried by a full update. Nothing seems to help. It looks, and tell them the exact same thing. It looks that I'm not the first contribution for that listing. What they'll have to do is they'll have to contact brand registry. They don't have uh, phone support brand registry. They only support via tickets. So what they will have to do, the catalog team, open a request by brand registry to release that first contribution or lock that you have on the listing. And once this is done, you will be able to repeat the steps and update the listing. So that's pretty much the steps that you will have to do. And I try to give you every possible scenario and that if you try it, and then if it's not working, what you have to do next, okay? Let me know in the comments if this helped. It will give me a lot of joy knowing that I 
helped others with the same exact issue that I had, that I had to figure and ask many, many people around on how to resolve. And I wish there was one video that can explain me in these linear steps. So thank you very much for watching this video. I appreciate you all, the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.